day before Easter, we woke up to find that rainwater had backed up through the floor drains in our house. It flooded through the whole place. It flowed from the laundry room down the hallway, through the living room, and down and pooled up in the dining room. We hurried and got everything cleaned up as best as we could and had to get going because it was Easter. We had camp like in two days, but the floor was ruined. Try and close the door. Nope. Nope, that doesn't work. If we tried to open this door. Nope. Because the flood damage caused all of our hardwood floors to swell up. The worst of it, you can see, lurking beneath the surface. There was a noticeable funky mildew smell. Not only is that not safe for our family to be living in a house with floors like that, but our ministry revolves around hospitality. We regularly have tons of people in our house for, for ministry, and it's hard to do hospitality ministry when your house is in that condition. We had no way to be able to replace these floors ourselves, and I was praying and asking the Lord what we should do when I was contacted by one of our supporting churches. They heard that the floor had flooded and they just asked, do you have what you need to be able to replace the floors? And I told them, you know what? I was just praying about the fact that we don't. And that church sent us all that we needed to be able to replace these floors. And so today, the project begins. Here is the old hearth, and one of the things that has driven me crazy, it looks like they put it on top of the wood, and there's this crack that goes all the way around the back. So we are demolishing the hearth and gonna be able to rebuild it. Right, Abby? Mm -mm. Ah. So I started taking apart the floor here under where the old hearth used to be. But it is like soil under there. Oh, oh, and there's some fun bugs. And it's just, I mean, that's that was particle board underneath. And then what's under it is sand. But that's what we're dealing with. It's done. Whoa! Look at that! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> this project would not have been possible without the help of all these generous people who gave. And I don't know what I would have done without Case Duncan. He was at our house every day for several weeks helping me, but most of all, we want to give thanks to the Lord for, for making this possible, for providing for us and enabling this ministry to continue.